Hey everybody, it's just Von82. I'm back and I believe I've actually forgotten what I was doing in less than, uh, less than 24 hours since that would be the last time I recorded. Those trees are growing well. I don't really need to grow them that close together, but I'm gonna anyway. I completely forgot what I was doing. That makes me, always makes me feel so intelligent, you know? Alright, yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. I'm trying to decide what I'll do over here. I think I'll make a nice set of steps leading up. So, I had a really, um, cool experience the other day. I, uh, actually wrote one of my, you know, favorite, uh, YouTube commentators a letter, or a message. Just, you know, telling him I love his stuff, and I appreciated the fact that he, uh, did it, and he actually wrote me back. Honestly, because he's a pretty good, pretty big guy. It was pretty cool of him to actually take the time to respond. Get your damn dog ass over here. Set, set. And I, I hope that, well, you know, if I ever get big, and I probably won't, but I hope that if ever I do, I actually am able to maintain that level of awesome. It's like, he didn't have to do that. He's... You know, pretty big name. He didn't have to do that. He didn't even probably had to take time out of his own personal time to do that shit. But he did, and that's awesome. Uh, and the guy in question, his uh, his name is Chilled Chaos, and I need to go back to bed. But he, you know, he's good guy uploader. Or, you know, a uh, steady uploader, so it's not like he's just one of those one of those people that uh, doesn't really care too much about, or doesn't care too much about his viewers. He actually, you know, it seems to, well, obviously, if he was talking to me, then he interacts with them. And I, I just appreciated that fact, because lots of commentators don't really seem to do that. It was a nice... This event, if I could talk to him more, I'd probably ask him questions like, all right, how does one go about networking? Because apparently what I've been told by everyone is uh, if I really want to get off the ground, I need to learn how to network. I need to know how to make connections. I don't know how to do any of that shit. I don't know how to do any of that shit at all. And I'm thinking I might put fence on the walkway. You know, just around here. But yeah, but yeah, it was nice because I was like, "Hey, he actually gives a damn about his fans," and he's a pretty hilarious guy, if you ask me. And he's also um, one of the bigger commentators on YouTube in general, so I was startled. I'm not sure if he has like a million fans, like some people or whatnot, but or a million viewers, but he he's got a damn lot of them, and he still took the time. And yes, I probably am fanboying a little there. Which is better than fangirling about it, because that would be awkward and require a major surgery that I just don't think I'm ready for. Ever. I need that. Alright. And I'll turn. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Alright, so I'm gonna make a lot of sticks. And make those into a lot of fences. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the sort of shit I gotta remember to do if I ever get any type of minor fame. Actually, treat people. I mean, I think I like. I think I treat you guys well. I mean, I like you. I consider you friends. So I like to think that uh, I treat you well, and the you know almost non-existence level of fame I have has not gotten to my head. Yeah, woo! Seventy people know of my existence. That's fame if I've ever heard of it. Uh, like, yeah, I had a friend who uh, put it in, you know, to perspective for me though. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I've gotten anywhere, and that's okay. You know, that's okay. It's not a big deal that I haven't gotten anywhere, and you know, I'll, um, I'll learn to, you know, just 
move or go with the flow and blah de blah de blah. And he said, "Look at it this way, man. How many fucking people watch mo or pay attention to me every day? Even my girlfriend doesn't want to pay attention to me every goddamn day, and we live together." And I go, uh, you, "Okay." Like, you got 70 people? That's better than most people out there. Like, you make a good point. I uh, know, I didn't feel, you know, I felt particularly happy to have you guys as it was, and he made it seem a bit more awesome. Uh, not that I didn't consider it awesome anyway. This that'll do. Damn, that's that looks retarded. Let me. Have it. All right, yeah. Oh yeah, it's funny because normally he's the sort of person who will uh, downplay every goddamn thing. You're like, oh yeah, that, that's fairly good, I guess. But this person did blah, and yeah, not a downer, Debbie. But um, he's the sort of person who will bring you down to earth when you get too. You know, big-headed. Which is a good trait to have in a friend, actually. I I have this problem of blowing everything out of proportion, and he's been very good at helping with that in the past. Not, like, in a jackass-ish way, just, uh... uh Alright, dude, calm down. Think about this. Alright, how far do I need to build that out? Pretty far. I think one more. Let's see. Oh, another news, I actually got myself a little video game recently, which is something I don't do very often. Actually, I made an error in judgment, and uh, I got myself a copy of Gmod, which is a really cool game. Think of it as, um, it's basically big boy Minecraft. I don't know how else to put that. You can, it uses... The Steam Source Engine and resources from all of the Steam video games, which are, you know, Valve games. And, uh, it uses them on, like, a really big version of Minecraft where you can make stuff out of anything that has appeared in any Steam game ever. Which is pretty damn cool. You know, you can, you can have a lot of fun with it. I got it for myself for fun. And then did not realize that it in fact needed like a billion other games and stuff to actually have all of the resources and mods and stuff. So, so. bit of a bit of a wallet destroyer there in the end. I did not see the pack that came with. All right, thank you, son. Yeah, anyway, I got the one that came with Counter Strike Source, but then there are a couple resources that would not work because it uh didn't have Half Life 2 installed. And I've got the discs and, you know, product keys for Half-Life 2. But, you know, none of it will actually register with Steam. So I kind of, uh... I was like, well, let me try and, uh... Let me try and install this and just see if we'll read it off the hard drive. And then I was like, yeah, we can read that. We can read that you have installed it, and we can't find a license for it, so... We're not going to let you run any game that would require this game because you don't have the license for it. So, couldn't use Gmod, couldn't use a bunch of stuff, and I was like, alright, well, I'll buy Gmod, I guess. Or buy Half-Life 2. And I ended up buying the Half-Life 2 complete pack because a couple things require resources from uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. I was like, uh, alright, so my nice little, hey, I'm going to get myself this game that's like $10 and into $45. Awesome. Alright, I need more of those. I want to make this double tall so that crap won't eat me. Of course, by the same logic, if anything spawns on here, I'm fucked, so I'm going to have to put torches down. Alright, let's make some more. Let's make some more. Uh, nah, that. Where's my wood trunk? Let's just grab one of these and half one. Good enough, good enough. Let me. But, yeah, so it, was, it was an awkward, annoying, frustrating moment. I'll probably do some recording and stuff with Gmod eventually, but it was 
And the time is just, I am annoyed and I am done with this bullshit. And I made, or grabbed way too much wood. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not nearly talented enough to do the animation stuff people do. I'm not even going to pretend that. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how, or see what I can do with my imagination and limited resources. Which, you know, the limited resources, of course, being the power of my brain. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Uh, I'll make those into torches. Do I have any coal? No? There we go. Uh, that's actual coal. That's actual coal. God damn it. Alright, well, let's pull that out. Uh, do. Do. Eh. Uh, that's probably enough, but and now I'll take that and this. I'll put that on to bake. I'll have more coal, all of the coal. Damn it! No, stop that. Uh. The only weird thing about playing any other type of first-person game is that when you go back to playing another, you default to the controls for the last one you were playing. So I'm keep trying to default to like Half-Life slash Gmod controls. The fuck? There's a zombie? Why is there a zombie in my house? I thought I had put down torches to keep that from happening. Fuck all good you are. Alright, well let's kill a zombie. Hey, come on out. It's a good thing the zombies are still retarded. Wait, is that... There's a skeleton in there. Motherfucker. Come on out. Really? He's standing in the doorway to my house attacking me. Where did you even come from? I'm gonna have to put torches everywhere. Good God. That's... That's a pain in the ass. Oh, it's getting to be night again. Hooray! Alright. And this should, in theory, keep me safe. That's why I'm putting it down. It's not, which is the problem. Damn it. I'll worry about that later. I should probably just run back to my home. Because apparently zombies and shit will just spawn in there. Is that a previous arrow? Yeah, that was. Right, let's just get back home. That's turning into a nice little tree. Another tree mess. Sleep. I'm gonna end up with more wood than I can ever, ever use because of this. Uh, that's fine. Because the apples are what I'm really going for. I need to just build a series of, uh, furnaces out here just for, you know, turning wood into charcoal. That would be ideal. Alright, let's see. First of all, I'm going to put down which is up there. Alright, I need to put another. There. And I'll put one every two. Alright. This is going to be the pain in the ass. Mm. Eh. 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 I make annoying noises. I'm trying to think something to talk about. Or think to talk about. Uh, saw the season premiere of Doctor Who. Yes, I have covered many times. I'm a nerd. I was very excited. It was not a bad season. It was not a bad episode either. I was very happy. It was very confusing. And a bit of mind fucky, but awesome. I'll have to look for the uh, horribly unedited version because the BBC America tends to be just complete and total bastards about editing parts of the episodes out. Alright, hold on. I need to go get my dogs. I can't just leave them sitting there. Besides, I'm hoping if I put them back in the house, they'll actually do some good. What? Ah. I need an 
apple or two. Alright, that's pretty awful looking there. Come on, puppy. You too, puppy. No. Eh. Eh. Alright, come on, all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're loud. You're doggies. I get it. Ah, uh, if I can get some material, I might... Yeah, because this is a nice looking castle. It's starting to turn out pretty well. Alright, it's starting to finish up nicely. I'm hoping that, um... Yeah. Hoping that... Um, I, I don't know. I'm going to mine for a bunch of resources before I uh, move on anywhere else, so... I'm hoping I'll find maybe some or some uh, maybe some diamonds to make a portal or to mine obsidian, make a portal, pick up some light stone. So it look good in the floor of this castle slash ceiling of this castle slash eyeballs. Come on, Ugh. god damn it! There we go. That and. Wait, what did I do wrong? Hey, this, uh, there needs to be a one. Alright, I made the mob. Ah, oh, damn it, I made the mob hide it, didn't I? Oh, there should be. Oh, those are right. Yeah, that's right. Eh! 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 Alright. And, eh! Damn it. Do, do, do. And mm. there, um, that's wrong somehow, but I don't care. That is somehow uh, uneven, but I don't know how. Good enough. Where are the rest of my doggies? Over there. Well, there's that one. Hold on. Come on, puppy. Come on. Come on inside. I need to put you in here where they're... I'm just going to line these damn walls with torches. Yes, there's a big empty space under my house. I'm aware that's called a creeper hole. Damn it, dog. Okay. You sit. What the hell? That dog had teleportation powers, but the wrong... Or the bad... Oh, did that one... Did that one die? No, puppy. That sucks. Right. Oh, no, there he is. Good. Sit. Good dog. Do, do, do. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna put him down up here. All along the wall. Just to make damn certain that nothing up here will... Or nothing will spawn up here. I'm making annoying music. Ah, God. I forgot there were steps there. I've actually done that in, like, a real stairwell and had that moment of, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. You know, that's what happens if, uh, you miss the fact that there are stairs somewhere and you take a step. Or that moment when you forget that there is not another step, or there is, or there is another step, and you go to step down and there's nothing there. Or what is not, or... What is there is not what you were expecting. It's that moment of, oh my god, I'm going to die. Where everything in the world just feels like it has gone wrong. Let's see how we're looking up here. No creepers. I'll line this damn room too. This is supposed to be a sanctuary, damn it, not a creeper tuary. That's right. I can make up words if I want. Creeper is a word now. At least it is to me. So, there. Alright, uh, I don't hear any noises up here. But, um, uh, yeah, this is overkill and well aware. But, you know, sometimes you gotta... You gotta overkill. If it's the difference between life and death and creepers, which are death to whatever you've built. That's... Uh, that one there. Let's put something in the room below, just there. 
Alright, that should be enough. If it's not, then God help us all, because that means creepers can spawn anywhere, ever. Alright, I need to put that fence back. Me fenced. Looking good. I guess I can probably go over there and cut down that massive tree, but let's put crap away first. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna need a lot of, uh, specific resources. Let me just throw everything in here for now. I'm gonna need a lot of specific resources for when I start moving on to my next area, because I want to, uh, I want to have enough food that we can walk for a long time. And, goddamn. I feel like I could build a house like that. Just put a bunch of tr those together, let them grow and wait. Maybe I should. That would be a pretty cool house. Of course, I'd have to mine it out with my fist, because otherwise it would just come down all in one go. Which is a bit of an annoying bit of this, but hey. They probably didn't intend for lunatics to grow trees like I do. Or to take advantage of Minecraft and this mod the way I am doing it. Uh, there. Good enough. Uh, maybe I will build one. Uh, maybe I'll build a, tr a house out of trees over here before I uh, move on. We didn't get too many apples out of that either. That's that's bullshit. Alright, so let's see. Um, let's just throw the wood in there. Cause... Now what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to see. Do I have anywhere? I've got a lot of those. Cool. Yeah, that'll give us something to do really, or you know, do before we move on. I'm going to let it go hyper big though. Now I've got, I don't know, you probably, I don't know if that was, you know, an American thing. Did anyone else growing up ever have, you know, the worms go in, the worms go out? You know, it was one of those little, like, schoolyard nursery rhymes about how the worms go in, the worms go out, the worms play pinochle on your snout, you know, or weird things like that. You know, it was about whenever you, uh, or what happens to you when you die. And I just remember it was creepy, so creepy when I was a kid. Like, don't you ever laugh as the hearse goes by, for you may be the next to die. They'll wrap you up in a big white sheet from your head down to your feet. Yeah, that was that sort of thing. I said, uh, they'll put you in a big brown box and cover you up with dirt and rocks. All goes well for about a week until your coffin begins to leak. That, that's the sort of shit that, you know, used to have when I was young. I don't know if that's just this area or if that was something that, you know, was an actual thing, you know, the world over. Or, you know, even... Hell, even city over, you know, like, different parts of the U.S. We're gonna fuck it. We're gonna make this tree big. Because we can. I just remember, yeah, it was so creepy. So creepy when I was younger. It didn't give me nightmares. I never got nightmares very easily when I was younger. As a matter of fact, I used to enjoy nightmares because I've always liked being scared when it's harmless. You know, being scared when you're harmless, uh, when it's harmless is, uh perfectly fun and enjoyable situation but it's you know stuff like I'm in a really or when it's like I'm in a really really bad neighborhood and the guy behind me has been following me for three blocks while I'm walking home in the middle of the night and that's the, that's the not fun scared when something could actually go wrong yeah, I, I still love creepy pastas I, I do I've mentioned that before but they're great. They are. Jeff the Killer. 
Uh, there was another one I, I forgot the name to. Someone was actually telling me about or told or mentioned on here. It was a sequel, to Jeff, like a sequel to Jeff the Killer. And I, I gotta, I gotta watch some Mr. Creepy Pasta. This is, yeah, this is what happens with Minecraft. Well, I'm done this project. Oh, I have an idea. This is gonna be one hell of a tree area. All right, let's see. And that's probably going to end up encroaching on that house soon, or that dirt soon. I'm gonna have to punch through all of this by hand, or failing that remove the timber mod, which is what I may end up doing. Or tree capitator. That's what I'm using. Tree capitator, a uh, capitator actually gets rid of the leaves as well as the tree, and that's why I use it because I like that aspect of it a lot. So, on another note, I have a friend who uh, actually does cu custom retro ver or custom retro video games, and um, I keep thinking that I well he can't do anything really small because he you know does it all by hand. He doesn't have quite the resources of some of the really good retro. Uh, do, you know, or retro bootleggers. He's doing all the work by hand, or I would totally have him, like, make me a copy of some of the creepy pasta versions of, uh, video games. I just think that would be awesome and frightening. Alright. This should be looking good. I'll have, um, a little tree house over here, and our big semi Mario castle. As it does look kind of like a Mario castle, just not really well made because I made it, and that's that's pretty much the problem with everything I make that I made it. And I think that's only gonna be like one floor tall when all is said and done, or this thing's only gonna be like one story when all is said and done, because I don't feel like going around and you know leveling it off, then putting dirt on top, and then replanting again. Uh. Hmm. Did I miss any? I don't even know if I'm not actually going to follow through with this because it might be... This might just end up being a resource gathering expedition for trees in the long run. Or for apples. <laughs> it's a bit... It's a bit ridiculous. I mean, if this thing fills out entirely, that'd be really cool. I'm not sure I'd know what to do with it. But I'll have to give it time. Maybe I'll just log on to the game and sit in my house like for an hour or two that way uh... the trees can grow between sessions because otherwise it'll take like nine ten, ten sessions or something and the cat behind me is just a cleaning her fat so hard that it's actually making the chair make noises and after just talking about creepy pasta i was getting freaked out now that's another thing i need to build i need to build a farm of course we're getting close to uh... The end, so that'll have to wait. But I've got ten seeds. Probably got more in other containers. Yeah, those. Do I have a bucket yet? I'm honestly surprised I don't. I'm gonna make a bucket. I'll gather the resources together now to start making a farm and then actually make it next time. Where should I put it? Actually, over here is pretty much ideal. Let me grab a little dirt. We'll get rid of that sand first. And then, uh... God damn it. Where did I... There's dirt. Where did I dirt? Let's get rid of that sand. We'll take a little... Oh, we'll run a little over. Mm -hmm. I'll have to put torches around to make sure that it doesn't turn back into ice, but that's fine. I do I need to get glass for... I don't really think I should put any glass in like that uh that snow castle. It, I think the windows would kind of make it look a little silly. And this will be a good empty area here for a monster trap. Uh, of course, there's the possibility we'll dig into water at some point down here before we're done. But empty spaces are good. 
Empty spaces underground where you know you won't be digging equals places where monsters will spawn and can't get at you. And I'm all for building monster traps. Let's see. Oh lord, what the hell happened there? That was actually pretty freaky. Let's see. Good. Alright, this should be a good empty area. That creeped me out a little. I thought I was about to dig into an area full of like creepers and skeletons and shit. Uh, I think when I think about it, I think that uh, that the worms go in, the worms go out song might have been part of some like children's compilation of horror stories like scary stories to tell in the dark. Which is so cheesy. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig Oh, well. That was startling. Ugh. God damn it. This is not good entirely. Come on. Alright, well let's try it this way. So follow me, grab a bucket of water. And I will uh remember to start doing, or we'll remember to work on this when we come back. Uh, so let me do a little watering, or infinite water sourcing here. So yeah, we'll work on this when we come back, I say, as I continue working on it, because I, I can't leave well enough alone. But I will actually. Oh god, the next update, next update, more farmable things. Way more farmable things. Can you imagine? I'm so excited, even if some of them don't have any use. I've always thought farming is one of those aspects of Minecraft that could be awesome if it was just, you know, if they went wild with it. Just an, every resource they can think of. Every vegetable. You know, like turtles. I don't know. Grow turtles. Well, give Notch an idea. He'll go with it. Or, you know, Jeb. Jotch. Neb. I'll, you know, I'll dig out the trough and worry about the water next time. But yeah, I just keep thinking. Or I've always thought, and I know there are harvest mod, or you know, vegetable and plant mods, but I've never wanted to use them because really famous YouTubers use them, and I don't want to have to deal with the inevitable, oh, you're just copying, like, Uber Hacks or Nobs or Paul Soros Jr. They are awesome guys, but... It's, I just don't want to deal with that. Anyway, guys, we're calling it here. I'll see you next weekend when we'll start working on our plantings and such. Till then, peace out.